guys, it's Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot, back again with another reading. This time it is a What I Am Feeling energy message for the collective for the week of July 17th to the 23rd of 2023. Again, that's July 17th to the 23rd of 2023. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated, okay? So starting off for the week of the 17th to the 23rd it's going to be a lot going on a lot of good energy a lot of creative energy a lot of inspiration we're going to start off the week on monday with the new moon in cancer and that's going to give a lot of people a lot of good ideas creative ideas inspiration for whatever you've been working on you're going to receive that spark to get you back going and getting things rolling the ball rolling um this energy is going to be throughout the week uh, from Monday all the way up until like Wednesday. But the down, the good thing and not so good thing about it, like, hey, you're going to get new inspiration. You're going to have creative ideas up the wazoo. But it's like this week, a lot of people are going to have that same energy and it's going to be like a battle to get your ideas seen. Whether you be a creative person working on a platform or in your nine to five everyday endeavors or business endeavors everybody has a brilliant idea and you're like dang i thought i was the only one so that's going to be like the energy of the week okay um the best way for you to get through the week i say is to you know write your ideas down keep them to yourself uh, play your ca cards and keep them close to your chest and don't share your ideas with anyone okay um because on Thursday, that would be the better day to share ideas and work with a team member or group members or team players at work or in creative ideas to collaborate. Um, Friday, some of y'all might want to call it, call it a day early. You might feel like a little bit overwhelmed by all the energy that started with the new moon on Monday. And you might feel like, okay, I've done enough work, whether it be on the 9 to 5 or, excuse me, y'all or in your creative endeavors. So some of y'all are literally wanting to get the weekend started early on Friday. Can't blame you on that, okay? Um, while the weekend will be uh, giving everybody moments of spontaneity, good cheer and all that good stuff, there's also gonna be this period of cloudiness, possible delusional thinking or in regards to, how should I say this, your romantic endeavors, your interpersonal relationships, uh, your relationships with others, whether it be romantic, your family members, take it how it resonates, okay? So any major decisions about romantic love, put it off until um, early September, because y'all know the Venus retrograde <laughs> starts on the 17th. It is on like the third. If you haven't checked out that video, I will have it listed in the cards of this video. And you'll see the little link for you to check that out. Um, I did it by Zodiac Sign. So y'all can check out your um, <laughs> Venus Retrograde in Leo reading. Okay. Um, but yeah, put off any major romantic decisions. Any non-essential cosmetic procedures until early December to avoid unwanted results okay that could be and some people say oh cosmetic surgery it could be that or it could be like going to the dentist okay so you might have to go get a root canal I'm not your doctor disclaimer or getting your teeth whitened at the doctor uh, at the dentist's office or doing something you might want to kind of sort of push it back to December okay um, instead just try to focus on natural ways to rebeautify or handsome get your handsome juice back if if that's a word um i feel like for a lot of y'all y'all can revamp your look and reintroduce old items in your wardrobe that you haven't worn in a while and it can make you look different okay but for uh, most of y'all not telling anybody what to do just with the things that have been going on in hollywood and even in the everyday realm about cosmetic surgery Proceed with caution. That's what I would tell you. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? So the advice to get you through the week, for some of you, I told y'all, things could get a bit ruthless in the workplace. Uh, you need to walk a fine line between staying out of the line of fire 
out of other people's squabbles and mess and make sure you're not being shunned out of, shunned out of the spotlight or pushed out into the spotlight or being pushed aside okay so that's a fine line not being in other people's junk on the job not um oversharing um with anything personal or professional or any of your creative ideas and knowing when to collaborate knowing how to stay neutral that will save you during this week of the 17th to the 23rd i'm telling you for sure okay the top astrological event of the week will occur on Saturday, Venus retrograde in Leo. Lovely. Now, click here at the top to watch that video for your zodiac sign reading that I did about the Venus retrograde in Leo, okay? A lot of y'all are going to be reviewing some things, releasing some things, letting go, revising some things, whatever it is in your personal, interpersonal relationships, not just romantic. I want to be clear with that. You're going to see some old patterns and some old items and some old ways of being, thinking, and relating in relationships that may be good for you, some may be horrible, and some you might have to just cut loose and revise, okay? So you can revamp everything um, or reflect upon everything with Venus being in um, retrograde in Leo, okay? So I know that was a lot. If it was a lot, go back and rewind the video and watch it again, okay? But don't make any major decisions about a love relationship splitting up or getting together with anyone right now okay until early september okay i'm just saying all right let's get into it so <laughs> divine holy spirit what additional energies will the collective be working with for the week of july 17th to the 23rd of 2023 as always guys with any tarot reading take only the messages that resonate for you leave the rest for someone else and like i always tell y'all come back and watch the video and see how things played out for you guys during the week okay be like okay that happened or oh, that didn't happen or for a lot of you guys stuff happens in your relationships with others and what i mean by that is you might see a lot of the different things that i talked about astrologically play out around you in friends family members or whatever the case may be okay Hey, just saying. All right, Spirit, what additional energies would the collective be working with for the week of July 17th to the 23rd of 2023? Okay. Passion, like I said, adventure, new ideas for some of you, performance, entertainment, creativity. Remember I said that? Costume, play, love affairs, passion, pleasure, parties, children, humor, romance, disco ball. For some of y'all, y'all, some of y'all hard-headed, y'all gonna start something with somebody. And it might, it might not last, or you might see some things from that person or some things from yourself within the relationship that might not be what you want, okay? Pluto, transformation, renewal, inner resources, basic instinct. Motivation, personal power, evolution, composting, self, <laughs> child, cycles, death, rebirth, rebirth, subversion, suspicion, obsession, intensity, reckoning, taboos, clearing, and extremes. Okay? Wow. Okay. All right, Divine Holy Spirit, what additional messages will the collect, <laughs> messages, additional energies will the collective be working with? For the week of July 17th to the 23rd of 2023. Y'all see Chiron came out, but it came out with a stack of other cards. So. <laughs> the moon, lovely. We had that new moon in Cancer on Monday. All right. Instinct, nurturing, gut reactions, comfort, digestion, home, family, conditioning, habits, femininity, lineage, privacy, embodiment emotions sustenance self-soothing moods and mother okay semi-sextile allowing encourages sees the potential in clarifies gives hopes to compensates into its tempers response cycles there's that word again it was on that card with pluto transformation grows realizes and rewards okay all right Thank you for those messages, Divine Holy Spirit. What other energies will the collective be working with for the week of July 17th 
to the 23rd. Just popped on out. North Node, Destiny, Soul School, Learning Curve, Fulfillment, Purpose, Maturing, Experience, Fruition, North Star, Process, Development, Practice, Path, Beacon, Blossoming, Becoming, Integrity, and Journey. Right? Let's see if I can say it there right there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Additional energies. Okay. And that's exactly two. How many we needed. Okay. Sextile opportunity and Libra the idealist. Okay. Harmonious, cooperative, balanced, socially aware, artistic people. Then I, there it goes. Creativity and, and artistic uh, uh, behaviors. Uh, people pleasing, fair, idealistic, aesthetic, choosy, aspirational. Geometric, graceful, considerate, obliging, indecisive, judgmental, and flattering. Collaborates. Did not. Wasn't I talking about co collaboration? Mainly collaborating with people on Thursday of this week. Collaborates, assists, explains, provides opportunities, synergizes, creates possibilities for, opens doors, promises, uh, brings insight to, communicates, welcomes, and develops. So for a lot of us in the collective. Things are going to be open up. You're seeking. Ninth house. Okay. It's about seeking. Okay. You're going to find what you're seeking. You're going to find the aspirations or the inspirations that you need on your journey. Whether it be in your nine to five job, your business, cre other creative endeavors. Thursday will be a great day to collaborate with people to get those things done. Get ideas flowing. Get the ball moving on certain things. But like I told you, during the week it's going to be. A burst of energy, a burst of ideas, a burst of inspiration, and you really have to be mindful of that. Keep your ideas to yourself for the most part. And when it's time to collaborate, cool, share it in. But only share when your things are stable and concrete for yourself, okay? That's coming up. I don't know why, but it's coming up, okay? All right, so as I split the deck, we have the Page of Swords. Yeah, that's why it's coming up. Somebody might be sneaking, inspired, and taking ideas. And the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Opportunity. The Ace of Pentacles is about opportunity as well. All right. Divine Holy Spirit, what additional messages do you have for the collective for the week of July 17th to the 23rd of 2023? Okay. Guys, don't forget to like the video, share the video, sh and if you haven't done, um, can't talk y'all. If y'all haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell and checking out my book, Life is Not a Dress Rehearsal. It is. It's about my journey in the classroom as an empath and a teacher. And it's a page turning read. I have a link listed below if you guys would like to check it out. And I appreciate your support, all right? All right. Messages for the collective. Come on, spirit. I um I didn't even realize I was just drawn to this deck. This is the Muse Tarot by Chris Ann, and this helps you to gather um, get inspiration for creative uh, ideas or whatever projects you're working on. So I was just drawn to it. I was looking at it. And I was like, hey, I'm gonna use this one for the what I'm feeling energy message. So that worked out. Okay, let's see here. We have Justice. Okay. The five of wands, like I told you, competition during the week for ideas. <laughs> Dang, there we go. Six of wands, come on. Five of pentacles, feeling like you're not being heard, being seen. I'm already trying to read the cards before I get them out. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Okay. Overall energy, the high priestess. Trust your intuition. Okay. If you feel like you shouldn't share a certain idea that you have with others, don't but for the most part i feel like this is spirit letting you know that you're tapped into your intuition you're tapped in enough to get those creative ideas and juices flowing okay yeah definitely uh, for a lot of y'all you you're learning from past experiences of sharing too much too soon with people and that blowing up in your face either they taking your ideas or for some of y'all you shared um about a job with someone that you were going to apply for before you apply for it and they applied for it and they got it before you even had the chance to apply for it. Oh, my God. Don't know where that came from, but let's get into it. Okay. 
So we have justice here. This is trying to remain balanced during the energies of the week and not letting things, people, places, things, and ideas overwhelm you with the justice card there. That's Libra energy. I feel like too, okay, they go. that's Libra twice, so spirit is speaking. Um, whatever ideas you have, like I said, write them down. Keep them to yourself and act on them. But don't tell anybody before you get the chance to get stuff done for yourself, okay? Five of Wands is you feeling like, okay, you have all these ideas, but you don't know what to do with them. Spirit's telling a lot of y'all to write your ideas down and approach them one step at a time. For those of you who are like in the career aspect, nine to five aspect, write whatever ideas you have down. Keep them to yourself and make sure you don't lay, lay your notebooks around because people are known to snoop and go through other people's things. That's the truth. Uh, for some of y'all, like I said, this is battling for attention or battling for your ideas to get out there. They're going to get out there and you're going to be seen as the six of wands right here, okay? The opportunity is going to come for you to present your ideas, but I feel like a lot of y'all need to be careful because it's someone, whether it's a person that you collaborate, <laughs> collaborate, wait, I can't talk. Whether it's someone that you have to collaborate with on a job or someone in a business, whatever the case may be, they feel like they're not being seen. So I feel like this is twofold. Someone that you work with or deal with in business and, and um, nine to five endeavors or even creative endeavors, feeling like they're not getting the, their just due or being shown the way or shown the way or being shown out in public or out in the nine to five among their peers for some of y'all this may be how you're feeling and spirit is telling you to hold on you're building something that's more stable i don't know where this is coming from with the knight of pentacles i feel like um with the knight of pentacles and the ten of swords here i feel like for some of y'all like i was saying before it seems like it's been an uphill battle trying to get something done for yourself or get your ideas through this might be what i was picking up on about y'all feeling like okay i'm gonna stay out of other people's mess um, and spirit is telling you that, but also too, how is this benefiting you? Sometimes you have to take a step back and be like, you know what? I'm not going to be involved in that because you're the one going to get stuck with the swords. For some of y'all too, this ten of swords and this knight of pentacles is signifying you coming into a new opportunity, a new cycle. It might have been, it might have seemed like you were going slow and dragging, but you're building, building up something that's going to be stable for you. At the same time with the ten of swords, collective you are closing out a rough cycle so you have to for some of y'all realize that you can't share everything with everyone also too you got to realize a lot of stuff that you've dealt with on the job or even in your personal endeavors has been karmic but now i feel like you're having a new opportunity to move that stuff out of the way and move forward for the one person or the couple of people that that was for about that job applying for a job and not telling anybody about it Please take heed to that because I keep feeling like you're going to apply for something or you want to apply for something. It seems like it's the perfect fit for you and you're going to tell someone you work with or someone that you know about it and they're going to kind of sort of try to sabotage you and you might feel betrayed in this Ten of Swords energy when they do that. I don't know where that's coming from, but that's what it is, okay? With the Page of Pentacles, this is you getting an offer, a new opportunity for something from someone, whether it's to collaborate if you have a platform, whether it's to um, take a, um, a chance and build something else on the job. And what I mean by that is your boss or your supervisor or whoever might come to you and give you an opportunity to run a shift. This sounds like the one, the what I'm feeling energy message from last week, um, that opportunity. You're going to receive an opportunity. Like I was saying, it seems it's going to seem like it's out of the blue for you. But this is something that has been aligning for you. Okay, with the semi-sextile opportunity, allowing, and with the sextile um, card, the energy of allowing. New opportunities are going to come through. One of these brilliant ideas you're going to have is going to lay in your lap, and you're going to be like, okay, what am I going to do with this? For some of y'all, it's going to come like that as in a creative idea. And for others of y'all, someone is going to be pushing you to work or do something um, on your 9-to-5 job or in your career that can really pay off for you so that's how that works okay with the page of pentacles all right spirit what 
additional message do you have for the collective to close out this reading? Where'd that card go? Really? Hold on. All type of weird foolishness. Okay, let's see. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I can't. Sorry, guys. Okay, so let's see. All right. Messages, additional messages for the collective for the What I'm Feeling Energy message for July 17th to the 23rd of 2023. Messages for the collective for the week of July 17th to the 23rd of 2023. Interesting. My eye was trying to <laughs> pata. Okay, anything else for the collective? No, that's too many. Anything else? Spirit was like, no. Okay, that's it. Now the card that came out was number twenty, pata. Okay, um, when that breaks down, that breaks down to a two, and two are all about balance. The new aeon, imagination, visionary, prophet. You can't. So a lot of y'all, like I told you, creativity is going to be the main thing, okay, for your week. Being creative, using your imagination to bring forth new opportunities for yourself in whatever way, okay? Well, let me read a little bit more. Got to get the book on this one, Patal number 20. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, the great creator, God Pata, all right, has the power to imagine a new world and opens the mouth of creation to issue it forth. A lover of this world, this existence, and all things manifest, he is also a prophet and a seer of the future aeons. He holds the potential of a golden age in his mind's eye. We humans are entrusted with his imaginings and have the potential to embody and act and create them. Come on, spirit. When we can tap into his vision, he helps us harness his ability to speak things into being. Okay? His dominion reaches down through the earth into the underworld or inner world and all the way up into the cosmos and the Akashic realms including all spaces in between. Pata was revered by the ancient craftsmen, artists, and builders of the monuments of Egypt, for he assisted them in manifesting their co-created dreams, providing both ideas and tools. If this card has come up, you are connecting with Pata and being asked to open your mouth. To speak your truth as you have seen it from your highest visions. And to help co-create a new era with your right speech and action. This applies to you personally and to whatever situation or question you are bringing to this reading, okay? Or have brought to this reading. It also applies to the greater collective vision of the future of our world. It also applies to... Okay, you are being asked to see clearly with your heart and into your heart and to bring forth all creations through the channel of your heart and mind. And look, justice. You see what power? Do you see the person on the card and how their head looks? Okay, okay. Close your eyes, focus on the image of Fatah and use your heart to see and listen. Then imagine in your mind's eye what it is that you will create. Remember, your thoughts and words influence reality. I'm going to read that again. Remember, your thoughts and words influence reality, as do your actions. You too can manifest your dreams. So for a lot of y'all, y'all might have been doubting your manifestation ability. And this is spirit speaking to you and saying, hey, you have the power within your hands to co-create with spirit source to bring forth things you want to bring forth through imagination 
through your creativity, okay? Dang, all right. So that is all I have for the collective, for the What I Am Feeling Energy message for July 17th to the 23rd of 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.